What's going on everybody? So it's been a fucking minute since I made a video. I, uh, a lot of shit's happened since the last time I made a video. I think the last video I made, I mentioned that I was going to um, be going to Georgia for training and stuff for my new job. So while I was down there uh, playing basketball in my free time, I broke my ankle. So now I got a fucking plate in my ankle. I'll show you guys what it looks like now. That's what it looks like, I don't know. There you go, it's like nice and purple still. There's a little scar. Um, it's healed. I'll get pain here and there, like when I have a, when I take impact on the ankle, so things like running. Um, I've been trying to build up my, my mile time again, because I used to be down to about six and a half, seven minutes for a mile, and I actually just ran today. I did a nine minute mile. So if you do the math, I had surgery eight months ago. I had surgery eight months ago, I had to rehab it, um, those three months after surgery where I just wasn't doing anything because my doctor told me not to do anything. So right around, I'd say November is when I started to walk on my boot. December, I was like in there in the gym again. And that's around the time I started working with Simon from Aesthetics. So I got like on a strength program because I got super fucking weak after I had broke my ankle. Um, being out of the gym for that long, messed me up as far as my lifts, strength gains, all that sort of stuff. So I worked with Simon for 12 weeks and um, I got my strength back instantly. Like once I started going back to the gym constantly, my strength came back little by little. So right now I'd say my bench is at like a 275, squats at around 385. Um, my sumo deadlift is at a 455, which crushes the numbers that I had before I, uh, before I got injured. So. That's pretty cool. Uh, I got my strength back. Now I just got to try and work on my ankle being able to take impact. So I got to work on impact, things like jumping, things like that. So um, yeah, that's what the fuck I've been doing. If you guys can see, I got my own fucking place. I'm not in Chicago anymore. So um, I finally made the move out here to Michigan. I started working. I've been working midnight shifts, so that's why it's hard for me to try and make videos because let me tell you, I got into a routine now, but um, the first couple weeks I was just like completely destroyed. But I'm gonna show you guys around my apartment. Let's, let's go to the front door. Let's go to the front door and see, see what's going on. Turn on this light, it's a little dark over here in this area. All right, so we got the front door right here. I'm about to turn the camera around. So this is what we got. This is where I keep all my paperwork and stuff like that. Keep it out of the way. I, am, I actually gotta hang this up. I've only been here for about a month and they screwed me over by putting me at midnight so my walls are still super bare. Like I have nothing on my walls so I gotta take advantage. I'm probably gonna go home and pick up like a bunch of like Chicago White Sox jerseys, like Blackhawks jerseys, the Bulls stuff. Put them in a frame and like hang them up. Gotta bring my Chicago-ness here. So here's the kitchen. I got a nice kitchen. Let me see if this autofocus is on. Uh, there we go. Cool. So this is my kitchen. I got a nice little bar area. Here we go. This is my nice little table. This is actually an aluminum, aluminum table with these wicker chairs. You just pull out, boom. So I thought this was pretty neat. The chairs didn't stick out and they weren't taking up a whole bunch of space. I like the way it looks nice and clean. Very rustic. I hate those words, rustic, antique, all that kind of bullshit words that just make it more expensive. Uh, here is my first ever furniture set. I've never owned a furniture set. I went to a furniture store and this is my own furniture, my furniture. Here's my TV from home. As you guys can see, this is the one that I had hung up in my my wall back at home. I got a nice TV stand. Uh, it was expensive moving into this place, let me tell you. I got a nice little coffee table here because I had to buy furniture, got to do security deposits, you gotta still buy foods, so I gotta do supplements, so I gotta do gym. So relocating was expensive. I'm not gonna go into the numbers, but thankful that I have a good job, that I was able to do all that. So these are the dressers that I had from home. I just brought those with me. This is my closet. I got a pretty, pretty big, pretty nice sized closet. Um, I like ghetto rigged it, and I put one of these lamps in there because there's no freaking light in there and it was way too dark. So I got like an extension cord like going all the way out here. But anyway, yep. This is my closet. It's pretty good size for me. 
And actually there's extra storage up there if I ever needed it to put extra crap, dead bodies, you know? But for cereal. Um, so yeah, that's my closet. And this is my little workstation right here. Uh, I didn't show you guys the bathroom. It's nothing special, but um, we'll take you guys, take you guys in here. Let's see. So here we go. We got my washer and dryer. I got to do some laundry. That's why I took a couple days off work this week because I got to get ready for uh, to go to Georgia actually. But uh, yeah, this is my bathroom. Nothing too special, like I said. All this crap. And this is my makeshift garbage because, like I said, I work midnight, so I haven't had time to go and like get a bunch of decor for this place yet. But it's cool. So as you guys can see, there's this door that goes back out that way towards the living room. But in the bathroom, there's this door. And this door takes us all the way back over here to the front door. So you can make like a big circle in my place. It's pretty cool. So yeah, back her. But uh, I love my place. It's awesome. I was always a fan of the lofts, like the really high ceilings and you have the duck showing and stuff like that. So it really suits me. I'm tall, big guy. I don't feel claustrophobic in this place. It feels nice and I have so much space. I love it. But as you guys can see, I put these, uh, these covers on the windows because it's a little creepy, the fact that there's a parking lot right behind and people, if I didn't have these things, people would be able to see right into my place 24 seven whenever they want. I was like, fuck that shit. Sometimes I want to walk around without my shirt, just in my boxer briefs. There's gonna be a bunch of weirdos looking at me. Um, hope you guys enjoy this video. This is just a video to update you guys as to what the hell is going on with me. Um, I appreciate all the people that still follow me on Instagram and Facebook, add me and shit. Um, I do reply to my people on Instagram. I know a lot of people have been asking like, yo, what happened to you? Why don't you make videos? Yada, yada, yada. You're the next Christian Guzman that got one of my messages. I was like, I don't know about all that, but um, yeah, that's what that's what's going on, guys. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hopefully it'll be a good workout video. Show you guys where the fuck I'm at in my, my workouts. I've been dropping that phone a lot. As you guys can see, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I've been wanting to make videos. I just, um, I don't know. I Like I said, I've been in a weird funk. A weird funk ever since I broke my ankle. But I'm back. I'm gonna make some more videos. And actually, another point before I cut this video off. I've been keeping my videos, my previous videos, like very, I guess you could say PG, because I do have a little sister and I'm my little cousins and I think I'm pretty sure that they watch my videos, so I try to keep them super PG, so I felt like I wasn't myself a lot of the times. Um, but now I'm just gonna be more relaxed, more chill. Um, if they watch them, they watch them. Hey, they're getting older, whatever. If I swear, if I cuss, um, nothing they haven't heard before. So, yeah, I will keep my cussing to a, a minimum, but let's just say we're all adults here for the most part. So I appreciate the uh, support guys and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.